AITA for calling the police and my husband? My husband's car doesn't work and he needs money to get it fixed. He doesn't have enough money. I'm in medicine school and have been getting ready for my exams for a month now. Every month he and his friends go on a road trip. His car's been sitting in the garage for three months now. He asked if he could take my car to take the guys on a road trip since it was his turn to take them. I told him I need the car since I have a weak immune system and public transportation might be risky. And I can't afford to get sick in the middle of my exams he begged saying his friends are gonna say. He ruined the trip and our discussion got nowhere. The trip was last week. I had an exam the day of the trip and left at 8 a.m. I had several things to do. I stopped by the coffee shop to use the internet. I arrived at the university at 8.30 and entered the hall getting ready for my exam. After I finished, I spent few minutes with my friends then I left. I got to the parking lot and my car wasn't there. I started freaking out, thinking I might have left the door open or something. I called my husband but he didn't pick up. My friends immediately told me to call the police. I ended up waiting for them to ask me about what happened. The officer said I needed to come to the station to give my statement. I stayed there for four hours then I was told my car was found. My husband was driving it and was picked up an hour away from where we live. I was shocked. And mad. It never occurred to me that he was the one who took it. I went home and waited till he got back. He was upset and didn't want to talk about what he did. The argument started after he said he made a copy of the key and didn't take till he made sure I arrived for my exam. I yelled at him and told him it was not okay. He caused me to stress out and worry about the car. He told me calling the police was drastic and shouldn't have gotten them involved but I had no idea. He took the car. He said he wanted to text me but forgot. Said the trip was ruined and he was embarrassed by being picked up by the police while he was with friends. He still thinks calling the police was over the top reaction but what was I supposed to do? NTA. He lied to you. So you properly assumed your car was stolen. He took it without your permission or knowledge. That is stealing. NTA. Why is your husband doing a road trip every month when he can't even afford to get a car fixed? NTA. Would your husband have rathered your first thought be, my husband has taken the car? NTA. If your husband doesn't understand just how wrong each step of what he did is. You need to seriously consider whether or not this is someone you want to spend your life attached to. He lied multiple times. He ignored your wishes. He ignored your genuine needs. He stole from you. He deliberately planned and executed everything when you were in no position to find out for several hours in. Rather than actually face up and acknowledge each of these things. He's complaining that he's embarrassed by your fully understandable response to events. He's a massive awe. NTA. He literally stole your car like a bratty teenager when you told him no. This should make you seriously reevaluate this relationship. NTA. But your title is misleading. You didn't call the police and your husband. You called the police to report that your car had been stolen. The fact that your husband was the one who stole it is his fault. Not yours. NTA. He asked to use your car. You said no. And then he stole it. Why shouldn't I have called the police? You asked to borrow my car and I told you no. So I knew you didn't take it. It had to have been stolen. Quote. NTA. He copied your key. And he stole your car right out of the parking lot. How were you to know the car thief was him? Meanwhile. He left you stranded in a pandemic to party with his buddies. 
calling the police was appropriate. So is leaving his selfish, irresponsible ass. NTA. He stole your car and didn't tell you. Your husband sounds like he only cares about himself. What was his reasoning? How did he think that would be okay? It's insane. NTA. I know Reddit always says to dump your spouse and leave him behind but in this situation? He stole your car during your exams for a very stressful major. A very serious one as well. As failing can delay graduation for a year plus. He has no regard for you. He has no respect for you. I am really sorry. Please, for the love of God, make this person your ex-husband soon. If your partner can't even clear the bar of, doesn't steal my car. An NTA. Obviously. NTA he is out of his mind. He should be embarrassed of himself. Because that was some first level bullshit he pulled. NTA. He knew what he was doing was wrong. He's not behind your back to make a copy of the key and then we did until you were busy with your exam to take the car without asking. Please use this when filing for divorce. It's only gonna get worse from here on out. NTA. This was 100% premeditated on his part. He made a copy of your key after you'd explicitly told him your car was unavailable to him and his friends on their road trip. Stole your car while he knew you were too busy to notice right away. And neglected to let you know. He was never going to send that text. Op your husband is now gaslighting you. Trying to somehow make this your fault. You didn't embarrass your husband. He absolutely did this to himself. You did what any sensible person would do when you discovered your car was gone. The only thing over. The top here is his premeditated and thoroughly planned attempt to steal your car. In fact, this is so over the top that it makes me wonder if this is the first time he does something so incredibly stupid. Maybe I'm just a cynic. But I find myself doubting that. Because he doesn't seem to have any respect for you. Or concern for your well-being. He was more worried about looking cool in front of his friends. Op. I'm not saying you should jump on the divorce train here. But this sort of behavior. At the very least. Calls for some serious marriage counseling and a good hard look on y'all's marriage. For all you knew someone you didn't know had stolen your car. That's when you call the police. NTA. And seriously consider whether you want to remain in a relationship with someone who thinks stealing your car only after you get somewhere important, but are not able to get back from somewhere important is perfectly okay. But calling the cops on a stolen car isn't. NTA he stole your fucking car. Why are you still together? NTA, he was wrong he sounds like a child who didn't get what they want so instead they snuck around their parents to get it instead. Of course you would have called the police he's an idiot for not thinking so. Hell if he been in your position he would have done the same thing. He's only pissed that he got caught. And from how he handled all this he definitely cares more about his friend's opinions than the woman. He's married too. Honestly if I were you I'd kick him out of the house and look into getting divorced. He'll likely do something like this again or maybe even worse next time. NTA. Now, once you have completed all your exams, file for divorce. NTA. I can't believe your husband stole your car. The stress of that alone of realizing your car is missing is bad enough but the fact he actually made a copy of the key to steal it makes it so much worse. If he doesn't realize how bad it is what he did then I'm surprised you still want to be with him. NTA and dump him. He stole your car. Let you worry. 
and can afford to go on a trip with his friends but not to fix his own car? You deserve better. Hun. Go get it. Edit. Wow thanks for the awards. Kind strangers. Also please don't forget to give some strength to op. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.